Thank you for watching. Fresh Focus Sports Original Content. Right, let's, let's, put on, let's put on a show. Come on. We ain't no three. One, two, three. Win. Win. Let's go, fellas. Let's put on a show. Come on. Two hands up. Two hands. Kingsley up. Go, 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 go. Go. Look up. Good pass. Good job. Good job. The new prep school and the grind session that will soon be a household name for me. One of the best West Coast teams. We can win the grind session. We can win it all. I'm Skyler Wilson and I'm from Kansas City, Missouri. My name is Jalen Weaver and I'm from Aurora, Colorado. My name is Dre Sean Doyle and I'm from Little Rock, Arkansas. My name is Josiah Sellers and I'm from the Bay Area. My name is Jaru Harvey. I'm from Sacramento, California. My name is Jalen Thompson. I'm from Oakland, California. That was perfect. Let's go. Three, one, two, three. Right. My name is Julius V and welcome to the Academy. Southern California Academy traveled to Utah for their first set of games before the official start of the grind session season. After a buzzer beater loss on day one, the team is heading back to the gym for their second game of the day. People don't know there's some pretty good talent in Utah. It's good basketball played in Utah. Aside from them not having a uh, shot clock and then playing a lot of zone, but you got to be able to shoot the ball. Good hands, bro. Deflection. Good serve. Go, finish. Good, Wade. Get back. Get back. The Rams were able to adjust to the different style of play and bounced back from their earlier loss in the morning. As they finished on a high note, winning back to back games. Our third game was probably by far our best game. Um, we got to really showcase what we can do as a team, what we can do individually, and it went really well. Um, it was a highlight reel. Two hands, good job, good job. Go, look up. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like Mike Jordan. Give me the rock and I'm scoring. Hey, came from the bottom, that's scoring. I swear that I'm up for the sun in the morning. Oof, hey, I got a flex. I need a Nike bag, give me the check. I need the money and power, respect, but I promise I'm repping the O to the dead. Hey, Third game, I was like really feeling it. I was knocking down my open shots, had a couple of dunks, playing defense, just doing everything. It was very fun to play out there. There it is, there it is. Good hit, oh, that's the one. I feel like I played pretty well this weekend, just getting adjusted to my new teammates and trying to find open guys and hitting open shots overall. I feel like it was a productive weekend for me and the guys. Knowing that it was our first time playing together as a team, uh, I feel like we played well. I feel like we'll be able to compete with any team in the nation right now, but as we just work out all the mistakes and most teams were getting most of their points on fast breaks from us not getting back in transition. But I feel like if we work out the defensive stuff, then everything else will just flow for us. Well, I do control, she bro. So make your trade. Yeah. Make the trade, Lou. No air. All heat. Next day, we played an early morning game against a good team out of Colorado. They're actually in our league in the grind session. Unfortunately, going into the game, we were missing Oziah Sellers, who's top 100 talent um, in the 22 class. 
not having him gave us definitely a huge disadvantage. But again, like I'm about development. Like it is what it is. We got to figure it out. Our last game was a big game for a couple of our teammates. We played Colorado Prep. Um, we have a few teammates who kind of know those guys and are from that general area. Colorado Prep, that was a school that had been interested in me. They wanted me to come play my senior year for that school. I knew everybody on that team personally, so that game meant a lot to me. I, I played against those guys like pretty much like my whole life, like during high school. So it was pretty much like a friendly rival competition. So it was like really important to us. Like I know everybody on that team. Good job. I mean, it was a really big chip on their shoulder, and you know, as a point guard, as leading the team, it was a really big chip on my shoulder too as well because I want to stand behind my guys and let them know that we were there. Good shot, y'all, Ru. Good job. Good job. And the game was just intense. Both teams did a great job. They got, you know, several Division I guys. They got a high major big kid that's really good. And it was a dog fight. There it is. Good hit, Sky. Yes. Good hit, Sky. Good job. Yeah, we started off really good. We came out swinging hard, but then uh, our point guard, he got hurt. Go, 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 Yaru. Go, Yaru. Hey, you guys go to the bench. Y'all room. You're doing a good job. Are you okay? Or was it more a shock? You want a sub? Huh? You sure? Before we even get to finish out the game, Yaru goes down hard. And literally the entire game, he was limping, he was hurt. And that's our point guard, right? Who? And he's a really good one. Um, he's our leader, he's our guy. The game's tied. They get the ball. They sky in one of their uh, 2022 kids who's pretty good. Goes in and, and finishes a layup and they win at the buzzer. I was proud of our guys, man, to be able to play through adversity and be able to adjust. And I just think it just says a lot about the character of our guys. It was great for our guys to face that adversity early. We're just tough, man. We're really tough. The biggest takeaway would be our effort. Like, we never gave up. Um, there was times where we were up a lot and there was a lot of times where the teams came back, but we stayed together as a team. I think our leader, point guard, Yaru, was big. He fought a lot of adversity. He was dealing with a lot of injuries. Also thought that Jalen Weaver played really solid. He's one of our more solid guys. Skyler shot the ball well. JT played very well. Dre Shine had a solid effort. I was really impressed with Kingsley. We've been on him for like two weeks in practice every single day. He performed well and we're seeing a lot of growth out of all the guys overall. We kind of missed O in our last game, but O has shown a lot of growth. He's a high major player. I see a lot of potential in every single one of these guys and when every single one of these guys can play at a high level. There's no doubt in my mind that this is one of the top teams in the country. Yes, Skarski. Thank you for watching The Academy. Stay tuned for episode four.